welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and today I wanted to talk to you about the importance of looking at something, having a bias, and sticking with that bias. So I did a webinar the other day, and someone that was in the webinar wrote in the chat that they had gone long the market and shorted the market on that particular day on the same day. And the danger of doing that is that you're going to lose, and consistently you will lose over the course of a year doing that. You can't really get any big moves doing that. You can't really get any momentum doing that. You're scalping and things turn against you very, very quickly and you can't take any real size with that. You know, again, I like to trade with size, but I've been trading for 15 years. Even if you just started trading, you still wanna get a big move, even if you would take, for example, 500 shares. When I say a big move in something like Apple, I would say a dollar, two dollars, three dollars more, something like the spy, same thing. So when you're scalping, you're, you're trading for pennies. And again, if you're in and out, in and out, in and out in this different directions in the same stock or the market on the same day, you basically have no conviction in the directional bias of that specific stock or chart or the market. We were talking about the market, we were talking about the SPY. And then also you are scalping where you have to quick it in and quick it out. And when I, when I trade fast, I'm trading momentum fast. While I may get in and out quickly, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe even a half an hour, that's still fast. I'm looking for a move, okay? A move up big, like we got today in Apple, for example, was in calls, or a move to the downside, like we got yesterday in Baidu, it was a short, okay? So, you know, you can trade fast with the momentum, but when you don't have the direction right, or you're unsure of the direction, you're trading it both ways, that's uncertainty. That's a 50-50 crapshoot. Those are not good odds. 50-50 is not good odds to benefit from the market moves and to make money doing this. 50-50 is not good odds. You need more than 50% odds. You need as high odds as you can get, quite frankly. So, you know, one of the reasons I designed my 26-point rating system is because I'm trying to get as many points as I can to find the best stock to trade that day. We got that, for example, yesterday in Baidu, which we did as a day trade, which we did as a short. But anyways, the person, I, I did not know who the person was, that he has not taken my class, but he went short and long to spy here on the same day. I mean, first of all, this wasn't a long setup here, but theoretically, if you went long here, you went long because the market was strong, it was on support, and it rallied green. That was the better play if you played it there. There was no short play in here, though, today, and there really was no long play in here, though. There was nothing to do in the market this day, basically. We gapped down. We closed here, gapped down. First we dropped, then we rallied. There, were, there was no play in the market whatsoever at all. And that's the other thing I want to comment. It's dangerous to always trade the same stock every single day. It's dangerous to always trade the market every day. There's not a play every day in the market. There's not a play every day in every stock. Okay, like there was not a play every day in Apple. There's not. So we do different things different days because I'm looking for the best move, the best momentum move. Okay. Anyways, it is so dangerous to trade without a bias and with a 50-50 odds. When you don't have a strategy to trade, that's typically what people do because they're not sure what to do. They're unsure what to do. They don't know what to do. It's a question mark, you know, in their mind. They take a trade long, then they kill it quick. If they're down, then they flip it and go short. Or they take a trade short, then they make a little money, then they see it reversing, and they quick take it, and they go long. It's a nightmare. Like, I don't know how that person doesn't have a headache every day. Like, very stressful. And really, if you were trading with size, it would be incredibly stressful. I mean, sometimes I have 5,000 shares of something. Incredibly stressful to have to get in and out in five cents or 10 cents. Just, you know, and be constantly worried about the direction if you're in it or not right. 50 50 odds are not good odds to trade. You must have high odds. Okay. You can say better than 50, you can say 70, 80%. We really do actually do well with mostly shorting but i do go long but you know as far as the system that i look at you know i'm always looking at 20 points or more for the rating system so that i can get the odds in my favor that that particular stock is going to work that day if i get the odds in my favor if it rates good and the setup's there i'm going to make money on the day and i do so i'm not shorting something like baidu and then flip it around and going long it and actually i'm going to i'm going to show you this actually this is a good example here today so Baidu gapped up today. Why? Gapped up at the market. This was not a good long. If you went long this today, it was a terrible idea. Could you have made money at long? Sure. 
was this is not a good trade okay yesterday was a trade yesterday was a short baidu is probably still lower in fact it is lower but again theoretically you could do you know different things in the same stock in one day but it doesn't mean it's a good trade and even if you make money doing it at monday you'll lose money in it tuesday wednesday thursday friday and then you also like i said will have no conviction because 50 50 odds don't get you there you need to know what you're doing either baidu was lower or baidu was higher baidu was lower it's not both you know what i'm saying so actually this is a good example because this is a short that we did close to your gap down we shorted this yesterday i actually called it put in it you could have got out yesterday you could still be in it why because it's lower and this would have been a bad trade today to go long it but again you can't do the same thing every day you have to look around for the best trades the market doesn't do every day what you expect it to do that's why you can't trade the market every day either okay and just like here and i'm just going to pull this up people are probably went long the market this morning and then shorted it and they're going long the market again they're going and if it drops up into four they'll short it long short long short long short and do that is a disaster for your account and back in the day when everybody charged commissions it was a disaster for commissions because if you're making five cents or six cents on something and you had to pay commissions it was a disaster some people are still charged commissions most people are getting free commissions but in 2023 but it still is dangerous you never really get anywhere with any huge momentum you never really make the bank the money for the profit that you want and for example again we did apple apple was a 175 percent return on investment trade this is not something you would have made that much money scalping so you know look for specific trades to do and how do i do that i use my rating system you have to have a strategy that you use to trade to make the picks every day do not go long and short the same stock or the market on the same day <laughs> and that's the stock switch tip of the day have a great day everyone